Hi guys, once again welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to write VARILOG code for for cross burn marks. Okay, using case statement and behavior modeling. And we will not go for uh, like uh, data flow model, that's easy. Okay, so you can do if you want. So first we will see for cross burn marks. Okay, so. So it having four input, so two to the power two that is four, so two will be that is select line. Okay. So let's input a A, B, C, D, and then select line one and select line zero. Or you can write it as a whole uh, in the very log. You can write it at one and using one variable. So there is no need to write to cell zero and cell one. Okay. So this is output. All right. So what is happening here? So cell one and cell zero. So it whenever it is zero zero it will take uh, output to a zero one it will take b one two it will be c one one then d okay so this is what happening in the four cross one max you can write as expression also so this complement this complement a plus this is one now, uh, one zero. So V these are and okay. So this is cell one and then cell zero and then C and then plus cell one cell zero and D. So this is the output. Now we will see how we can write the red lock code for this. So guys, please do subscribe my channel, like the video, share to this video to your friends. Okay, so this a uh, module, module name, and then A, B, C, D, select line and output. So input are A, B, C, D, and also select line is also an input. So it is of two bit cell 0 cell 1 and output is odd and raise so always at the rate a b c d or cell or simply you can write like you can write like only a star, a star. you can give like a star so it will take all the sensitivity list no? so you can also write like this so using case statement then select so uh, select li line is of two bits. So two t d zero zero. Then out is equal to a two d zero one out is equal to b one zero. Then c and out d went one one as we have seen uh, in the PPT or slides. Okay. So we are ending that in uh, case statement and then end and then in module. Now we can write also using the behavior modeling. So in this same way, these this all part are same. Now uh, we have given always at the rate begin. So if select line is equal to two tick b zero zero or is equal to a. So basically I, I have used if else statement. So you can understand it easily. Okay. So this is what. Okay. All right. I am commenting this so that we will see one cases for the simulation purpose this one now same this is test bench name module name then a b c d the select is of race that is in, in the test bench uh, input are given as a race and the output is wire so now we are instantiating this module and then connecting the test bench and module port and then we are generating dump file and then we are giving the stimulus c so select is equal to uh, two tick b zero zero uh, and then a a b c d and uh, 
after five nanoseconds we are changing the value of select and then we are taking the ABCD we are giving and then finishing that and then we are ending that interval. okay so this is simple okay so basically we you have to understand this code using how you can write using case statement and using behavior or modeling like uh, if use the statement okay so let's see the output waveform and we will understand how it is working fine or not guys please do so okay so one error is coming uh, let's check that error so where is it is coming it is coming in uh, syntax error test runs sv okay so what is Okay, so what is happening here? Either is this we have given to assign uh, always the log. Okay, now we have. Save this and then run this. Let's see what is happening. Yeah, now fine. Now see the waveform. See, uh, select line of 2 bit, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then, if it is 0, 0, it will select A. So, what is A? A is 0. So, output is 0. Right? Now, after 5 nanoseconds, A is, uh, select line is 1. So, it will select B. Uh, so, output is, D is 1. So, output is B, 1. Now, after 10 nanoseconds, uh, it is 2. So, what is uh, it is 2 so it will select C so what is this C is 0 so it has also output 0 now 3 so it will take D value so D is 1 so output is 1 okay so fine it is working fine so in this way you can write test bench and verilog code module code okay guys so thanks for, thanks for watching this video and please do subscribe my channel